Hey, that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> <laughs> this is our bus. Come on aboard. Eighteen fifty. One minute remaining. Currently the highest bidder. Stressful. What is it gonna be over? <laughs> well, ended. Eighteen fifty. We got the bus. So we bought a school bus. Woo! We're off to get the school bus. Woo! Rear engine school buses tend to go for about eight thousand dollars. I will. In July of twenty twenty, it could be a local uh, school district flooded the auction houses with thirty buses. This means they were going for around $2,000 a bus. This is me handing over $1,850 to buy the school bus. Thank you. And this is the exact moment when I became the owner of a school bus. There is a key in there. Okay, no, yep. <laughs> it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Get out the Get, pick it up, okay. Yep. All, All right, thanks very much. Have a good day. All righty, so now I just go find the dang bus. I don't have a clue which direction the sun is. The auction website showed that the buses were on the west fence. Uh, let's take a look and see. So west is going to be this way. All right, using my uh, powers of celestial navigation, my outdoorsman skills, I'm deducing that this is the direction we go. But it looks like all the buses are blocked in by other vehicles. So let's see. Well, so here it is. This is our new bus. All tires have air. Looking good. Now I'll see if I can get the door open. I've never opened a bus door. I guess you just go like that. Thank you. Here it is. Pretty cool. Alright, seats have some. Some can sit around. But it's not in bad shape. Alrighty, so there's a gentleman who is moving some vehicles. But, I have to figure out how to close the door first. After I was finished paying at the auction house, there were no further instructions. I was turned loose into the yard to find my own bus, figure out how to start it, figure out how to get it out of its parking spot, and figure out how to get it out of the yard. Turns out I was equal to the task.
I am six foot two. The ceiling apparently is equal to that. <laughs> I tend to like six foot two and a half. It's just above your head. It is, it is just barely above in the back. It's, for whatever reason, I think it's taller in the back than the front because my head did hit the ceiling in the front of the bus. Well, with my big Google bus. It's actually in really good shape. The roof's in good shape. Needs a wash. Even the paint's in good shape. I'm pretty excited about it. And it purrs like a kitten otherwise, so things are good. In what can only be considered a miracle of miracles, a friend of ours, Katrina, has offered to let us park and build our bus in her backyard. Her house is only five miles from ours, and maybe two miles from a Home Depot. It couldn't be a better arrangement. Plan A was to park the bus at my dad's two hours from here and build it on weekends. I think this is gonna work out better. There we go. Alrighty, I wanted to introduce everybody to our bus. This is our bus. We got a Thomas uh, 2005 rear engine, so the engine's in the back, uh, which allows it to be the longest bus they make. It can seat 90 people, so it's the biggest ones they make. Come on aboard. So you can see we've already started tearing it apart. The funnest part for the kids, I think, was to cut holes in the seats big uh, razor blade slices because we have to pull all that off and then what we have underneath each seat is metal and so we'll cut the metal out and scrap it and then we're throwing away the the uh, foam and the vinyl uh, in the garbage it's hot on here Whew. <laughs> the rear engine is uh, underneath this engine cowling so we'll be able to put a king-size bed right up against it and then uh, if you bunk beds on either side heading forward, and then it'll go bathroom, kitchen, and the living room will be in the front. Has 22 and a half inch tires. Each tire has approximately 6,000 pounds of weight on it. The back window opens upward with little gas struts to hold it open. These windows, every four windows, there's an emergency exit, and I'll show you what they look like. <laughs> That's a horse of a different color! <laughs> <laughs> so if you've ever wondered how these emergency windows open up, this is how. And it's really nice for making a uh, cross breeze in here. You can even put a fan on each side and really draw the air through. But it's uh, much easier than pulling these windows down because it's an old bus. It's 2005, right? So we have to lubricate all the windows, get some WD-40 on there. Um, right now, this is the easiest way to get a cross breeze. So this is the emergency exit on the driver's side. And if you want to come around and see, you can really get a look at what the seats look like. Sort of a chintzy steel back. And then really, it, the, the frames are pretty solid. So we'll cut all those out of here and get them out of here. Because it's a rear engine bus, the engine is found in the rear. It has a Mercedes 90601 something something motor uh just like every other thing about school buses there's half the people that say that's a terrible motor and then half the people that say that's a good motor um it has a m3060 transmission which everybody says is the right transmission to have it is already a six speed um some buses come as five speeds and you have to have a special code um authorized by the the production company um in order to be allowed to unlock the sixth gear and that's depending on whether or not you have the right tires, if they'll allow you to do that. But this one's already unlocked, so I can do highway, uh, highway driving. We had it going 65 when we brought it home, and it was no problem there. Uh, it drove just fine. As you can see, the engine's in great shape. I, um, there's gonna be some general maintenance to do. Um, and of course, I need to learn 
the basics of diesel mechanics because I know enough about unleaded mechanics, but I don't know a thing about diesel um, other than the very basic basics like glow plugs and that kind of thing. But um, so I'm very pleased to see that the engine's in such good shape. The very first job is to get the seats all pulled out. So as I already showed, the, the cushions come out first and those will go in a dumpster or, or to the actual dump. Um, we are renting a storage space that allows us to use the dumpster. Um, we're trying to be responsible and make sure everything ends up where it's supposed to be. The seat, all the steel from the seats will go to a scrap metal, um, a gentleman who comes in the neighborhood and takes scrap metal away. So that'll be uh, recycled as well. And so that's really the only, uh, the only demolition that has to come out of the bus, the only demo. We will check under the floor. The floor of the whole bus, 40 feet long and eight feet wide, is um, plywood. So we have to see underneath the plywood and see if it's moldy. Um, I am not getting a mold smell in there, so there's a good chance we won't have to replace that. We're making the bus for southern living, so it does not need to be insulated against cold for the winter. It just needs to be insulated for air conditioning. So we'll insulate, if the floor is in good condition, we'll insulate right over top of it and lay our next, an underlayment, and then we'll put uh, the, the finished flooring in on top of that. We paid uh, $1,850 for the bus, and then in Florida it costs roughly about $650 bucks to do all the title work and the tags. And um, from, from here, the next, the next step for us is to just wait until we've sold our house. That'll give us a budget to build the bus, and uh, it's all downhill from there. Very excited. Don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube and subscribe if you want to watch the uh, bus playlist unfold in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching. We're exposing the seats. There's steel underneath. You slice the foam, slice the vinyl like this. And then the foam comes out in one piece. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> no seeds. Good ant piles. Alright. Come back up here with the camera if you would. I just want to get some. Sorry, I've been filming this whole time, so it's going to be. What's that? It's been filming that. Hope... No, no, that's okay. It's actually easier that way. Just want to get some B roll that I can. I'm not sure that's going to work. There it goes. Mm -hmm. And then, here we go. Got some Spanish moss on the mirror. That's a good B-roll. Is that there since we got the bus? No, it, I scraped it off a tree on the way in. Oh. And then, I love the headlights. It's got a cute Bussy oh, McBus face. <laughs> I'm so bummed we can't call it Bussy McBus face. Because somebody already has yeah. that. But that is Roger? exactly what I would have called it. Roger? Roger the bus. Roger. It's Roger the bus. All right, so this is the emergency exit on the driver's. Oh, no way for that. <laughs> Solid door. It's so little kiddish, but I love opening all of the uh, emergency exits because you're never allowed to do that when you're a kid. So this is the emergency exit on the driver's side. And if you want to come around and see, you can really get a look at what the seats look like. I think I now have to go all the way up there. You close it. <laughs> oh, I do. Oh no. <laughs> Climb out the window. To release the open door from that position. There we go. Oh, you're right. This ground is really squishy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Shouldn't have 22,000 pounds on it squishy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Still filming.
Still filming. Very shaky because I'm walking right now. No if you'll stand sort of where the canoe is. Yeah. Just get on the canoe. There you go. Are we good to go? Yep. And then getting itchy. We can get out of here. Let's, <laughs> That's okay. let's, uh, I stepped down and this wave of bugs came up. Okay. Landed on my legs. Like that. I feel just kind of stand there. <laughs> Gotcha. I'll wait for that. Mm -hmm. Time to itch my knees. Alright. Good to go, or is it still filming? Still filming. Alright. <laughs> we live under an airport path, a <laughs> uh, flight path, and because of COVID, it's been utterly ghostly and silent for the last for like five months. And then just today, there's like airplanes, so uh, it's, I guess it's good news. Okay. The very. I think. Let's wait for that. Thank you, go. How are you not getting eaten alive? You're wearing shorts too. I think I'm just used to it. Oof. Oh, my ants. I like that. Is it is ants or it is not? I don't think they're, they're black, so I don't think they're going to bite me. Okay. But it's black. Still filming, should I stop? Oh, it's blinking. The timer's blinking. That's oh, right. Okay. So, you can come along this way. 